what up guys focus motion here uh, doing a final table video um, on Bovada this is actually a four table sit and go so a small final table but you know a final table nonetheless and this is part of my uh, uh, my ongoing building the bankroll I guess kinda series Mm, um, this is the turbo format, so you can get pretty short. I would say you can actually get down to five big blinds and not really be too worried. I mean, you can see everybody's pretty shallow um, all the way around, except for uh, number 17. Um, but yeah, so we're just picking spots, and then also kind of give you guys an idea. Top seven pay out. This is a five dollar buy-in, and. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try to make it happen. Um, let's see here. Let's do the. Oh, I got a. Got a. Uh, uh, Eleven cubed tournament popping off on merge so. Let's see how that goes. <clears throat> see this guy really is pretty significant. Obviously gonna go with his hand. I don't think he's raised folding there. And So anyways, hopefully the video quality is better this time around, and also the audio quality is better. Um, close the window here. Gonna show. You know, I notice a lot of people don't really show their hands on the site for whatever reason. Hmm. Folding here. I mean, thoughts to think about if you were to jam here if it was unopened. Um, who knows? <laughs> I was uh, prior to the final table here, uh, left I am with being pretty aggressive jamming against uh, the blinds a lot and. Uh, Dude just woke up with aces. <laughs> Seems like that's the that's the that's the, the downfall. Some people wake up with a hand. Um. I don't mind jamming here, but getting opened. I'm gonna fold. Would be nice to jam though. Got accumulating some chips. Uh, this is just getting in. That's gonna jam it. I don't need to get cute. Uh, and uh, good luck, good luck, us when sticking in. I mean, he had to really call it a strong hand here because if he called the losers, he's crippled. So I'm wondering if he had like king, queen, or ace, rag, like ace, five, or something. He's debating about. And he decides to sit out. Unlock the cards. Got fours. I'm still gonna jam it in. Figure. Uh, stuck against this one now. I'm trying to do that thing. Um. I mean, if he does call, hopefully it's wide ways and we're flipping. And if not, then we just need to hit a four on the flop. Or a turn or whatever. Let's 
see what happens. He falls, which is good. Uh, kind of weird. He did three X's <laughs> and he folds. So, um, kind of nice. Nice little chip up there. Five with blind ship. Really thinking about it. Oh, wow. Wow. Man, remind me not to jam on his blind too light. Holy cow. Um, I'm trying to do the math. I don't know, is that close guys? You tell me. Let me know what you guys think about that. Call off with three six suited. The guy goes, Why don't I call smiley face? And the guy like thank you. Crazy. Alright, so now we're on the money bubble, which is gonna put a lot of pressure on people here. Uh, must be a lucky number that made you win. Well, technically, he was ahead. <laughs> he had six high, you had five high, my friend. <laughs> but uh, that's neither here nor there. Just, that was a really interesting call. The guy says he had possibles. Hmm. I'm gonna fall King Jack. Uh, if it was King Jack suited, maybe I open because we do have a lot of leverage. But in this scenario, uh, I open number three jam. Probably would have to call number thir uh, thirty-two jam. Call twenty-four. Have to fold thirty-five. Fold thirteen. Fold seventeen. Fold two fold. So. And that's, you know, only had two people can realistically call with that hand. And I didn't want to waste <sighs> some chips, especially when we're going to go into the blinds. So I figured, just conserve it. H10 offsuit would have definitely called three if he jammed and 32 if he jammed. Um, it is kind of hard because this guy is capable of calling off light, so I don't know what's up. 17 opens. I'm shipping H10. Deuce limps. I'm gonna jam H10. So I think it's pretty much the H10 get in hand. Hmm. I'm gonna get a walk. Nice. I mean, another thing is kind of weird. You kind of think about the fact that. Look right away, you notice right here, the shorty gets into the blind, so it's like, you're one away from the the bubble, and I jam on either guy, and they snap off, and I lose, because they have me covered, I mean, that's a lot of, I guess, just, I guess, needless risk in a sense, right? I mean, more likely that these guys bust out now, because they're in the blinds, there's going to be a lot of pressure. 
this is interesting. Hey, dude, my goodness. Wow. Wow. We're getting the continuous shorties to the to the right of us. Interesting. It's gonna fold. Uh, Jack 10, I think I would have jammed. Really hard for 3 to call. And then 32, I mean, he's just... I wonder if it's even independent on what you have right here in the spot. Like, would you just jam in anything there? You know what I mean? Like, just because the dynamic itself is... You know, we're at the money bubble, so... Like, they can't call off light, and so their hands are pretty much super narrow in terms of what they can call off with. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, I think we can raise here. Um, yeah, definitely. I can say 32, uh, 32 ship, we'd have to call cover priced. But if he raised 5600, uh, number three raised, we'd be folding. I mean, that's just, just too much. That's why I didn't want to ship it there. I'd rather just raise, call off these two people, and then sigh and fold number three. So this will be interesting. A little final table here. Um, turbo, so it should be fairly quick, but entertaining as well. <coughs> and my last tournament of the night, I'm doing the 11 cubed on merge. So let's see how that goes. It would be a nice bank to have. But let's see. So yeah, I'm definitely excited about LA and Vegas, so it's going to be fun. We'll also get to play um, some pokers in Vegas online, which will be interesting. And um, yeah, I feel like that now when the money. Yeah, it'll be interesting to play um, online in the back because, uh, you know, uh, I think it's hosted by stations. Cause so, let's say a bank or whatever, I can just withdraw the the cash at the casino itself, which is kind of cool, interesting. Um, so I'm kind of ready to go. 32 so squeaked into the money. I don't get why you have to do this so asterisk stuff. Weird. Uh, I wonder if I can do 1400, 1425. Yeah, uh, he jams off. I would have called 32. Um, real, we kind of. Uh, just like that. Yeah, that's what we rather. That's what we want to see. One, we're doing that because we got to show a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of life. And two, I mean, as you can see, we're right near the blind. So um, that's just the biggest reason. value in that spot. Hmm. Eighth nine suited. It's debatable as to what do you guys put down what we do. Guy raises, min raises. 
Um, I think we could jam here. Um, but the same thing, I, I don't know. I think I'd rather just fly and just see a flop. And, uh, just. Hmm. The board pairs, we might. I don't necessarily believe that. I'll just let it go. There's no need to really get crazy with it. Yeah. I'm like King River would win. You know. Whatever. Um. What was I going to say? Yeah, so I mean, like, yeah. If I raise and I jam, he had like Ace Jack, Ace Ten. You know, not liking it. So, I'd rather just play a flop and just kind of conceal my hand and play like that. I don't really feel the need that I have to gamble it up to get some chips here. So. Ooh, I found a enough table. Over, over bets. Oh, sorry guys, I had a guy who over bet the river Slightly with the nuts, he threw the nuts so over that pot slightly on river with nuts. Okay, just notes. Um, okay, so three is triple now. Um, Fold this spot. Three set folding. It's interesting. You see a lot of. Um, I don't know. You just see a lot of. I guess not standard play here. Um, uh, yeah, I feel. Interesting play here. Limp ship. Let's see what this guy does. Okay, folds, interesting. Too bad you can't take notes. I mean, you can take notes, but only for that tournament itself, so. Not really uh, much to do here. And here, I think we can probably raise. Oh, this guy's sitting out, and this guy could call, but. There we go. Classic, uh, good spot press there guys sitting out in the small blind so make one less person to go through and um, H10 wow this is interesting this is a real interesting spot This guy's guess code. Um, now we're going to see probably play number two is going to probably call for sure. Play the 17. I don't think so. Um, but let's see. And if we hit a 10, an ace, I think this guy would re raise with a strong ace. I don't think it's flat an ace. So we got a 10 here. So, well, let's just see. We're going to check here. Let's see what this guy does. There's a side pot of 1200. 
that's 2400. Let's let go. Yeah. I just, didn't, I just felt like he didn't have a hand there. Wasn't gonna get too crazy with it. Um. Yeah, Bloody King for the please. Seven, same deal. But putting pressure. Ruler, if we got a call, I mean he it's just max pressure there. Um, obviously worth noting in this kind of a, a lineup, uh, I would be min raising or raising small like my premiums so I can get people to ship over. This guy's getting abused. He used this code. This guy's jamming. Alright. Good luck, us guys. We've got threes in another tournament. We're all in. <laughs> Flop of King 6-6. Six, six. One guy gets it in. Guy hits the nizzles. Wow. This guy had pocket king for full house. We turned a three for a. a Smaller pool house, so bust out of that tournament. It is what it is. I'm gonna fold here. Ten nine, I think I would have open. This guy just soon later is gonna catch on that everybody's picking on this thirteen blind. Um, let's see here. Calls. Now uh, we don't have to bet so big, actually. Yeah, that that side would do the trick. It's not necessarily half the pot, but it's just enough that ref to ace. But at the same time, I don't think the guy had the ace. Um, because he'd more likely would be jamming me. <laughs> we get a walk with aces, nice. Um, we'll show cards. <laughs> um, that's pretty much the only time I'll show a card like that. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. And let's just limp here. Let's see a flop. Hope the guy doesn't jam. He doesn't. if he buys it. No, he doesn't buy it. Well, we'll tank to 19 and fold, but I, really, I, I don't like my sizing here. I think I should have bet a little bit smaller. Just doesn't make any sense. And we'll fold. I don't think he has a 5 way deuce. He wouldn't be jamming like that. Ah, a 9. <laughs> uh, King, Queen. This guy is Play a pot position here. Uh, he was thinking about jamming, it looks like. Hmm. Jack 10, we have an open ender. Guy checks, we're gonna check back. We hit a queen. Okay, we're just going to check back, and let's see bet we call. Can we value here? I mean, if we value here, 10 calls, we can 
can call, but we'll just check back and see what this guy had. The ace high. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he would, he would not call with ace high there. So, I just felt like in that particular spot, we not looking any value on the river bet because the dude's not really calling. And if he had his beat, he can just. We're basically a showdown um, in that spot there. Now, conversely, on the flip side, I really feel like this kind of guy, if I jam there on that button against his min raise, he'd call off with the ace high. So, this guy kind of plays, seems to me he plays fit of hold on the flop, and post, he might call off that ace rag hand there. So, it's worth noting. Worth noting. Wow, it's that ship. This guy had his auto fold button open. <coughs> Jack nine suited, decent, decent, decent. Guy raises, just a min raise. Uh, we can call here. Take a nine. Forty. Ah, uh, man. Hope this guy bets less than half pot, cause I'm probably gonna flow him. It's too big. Oh man. And I'll let it go. And I'll let it go. Jeez. And I'll let it go. Cool. Mm, Jack five. I was debating uh, if it was folded to me, do I ship in that spot, and will this guy fold way more often than call? Um, yeah. Hold can be suited. Guy's on auto fold, it looks like. He'll just fold when he doesn't have a hand automatically right away. Like, he'll just put it on auto fold. Here is an interesting spot. <laughs> I was going to say folded me, uh, probably, I mean, raise, and then depending on who ships called off, I mean, like, this guy ships. It just depends on, if, it just depends on the person that, if who's aware, I guess, that's the question. Now, this guy could be just that, he could be aware that this guy's sitting out, so, um, like, my ace, my ace high, good against his range. Of hands he's shipping there, maybe shipping a pair there. I mean, or, or you know, who knows? But I feel like my kicker there is just too weak to bluff catch. You know what I mean? So that's my thoughts on that. Sooner or later, we're going to have to start popping pots and just taking pots down because blind and Andy are going to be fairly substantial. Wow. I think the guy could have jammed river or close to it. Thirteen raising. Six twelve nine deuce perfect pot for him to jam and he does Don't let that go big blind is not liking it play number two thinking about it uh, let's see. Probably not just stalling for whatever reason. Uh, okay, this sits out. And 
and we hold. Okay. Ten nine suited. I'm gonna get that in. Got a lot of good equity. Come on. Working late. My slider's not working well. Okay. Uh, oh, diamonds. Let's go, diamond. Jeez. Well, it is what it is. It's weird. My slider was all acting weird, but that's cool. I like that spot a lot. Uh, 32 can't really call. 35 really can't call and she had something, so I figured I'd be getting the blind fill a lot of the times. So, feel, I feel like I have a lot of equity there. Um, I'm going to ship this here. 980. Yep. Take that down. My slider is not working. It's kind of tilty. Just a little bit. Do three, we're going to fold. Guy give him an instant walk. This guy's going to be blind out. It's kind of interesting to see what's up. Oh, he's here. I wonder if he jams. I was going to say, if 35 opens, I feel like I would have jammed. He's just doing that too much. And I'm, of course, I'm jamming here. Blind versus blind. That's one thing. I mean, uh, the thought might have occurred that I, uh, that he might be trapping by just limping. But I don't feel like that's the case. Uh, hopefully, this guy, he opens 35, and then this guy just jams. No, he doesn't. I wonder how we can play it. I might just call and have this guy just commit himself. Okay, that's not bad. So I'm just going to check and let him bet. Okay, so let's get it in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he would have called anyway, my jam. I feel like three is not folding King Jack there. But. I put myself in the best position, I think, to get, uh, to get, um, the max value for that hand. Um, the only thing I could really worry about would be over Ace or King, but everything else I would pretty much like. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate he had the spade draw there. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is not a bank, but, you know, it is something, um, Unfortunate, but yeah, it's just you know another day, another another grind, and uh, you've got to keep keep up with it. You know what I'm saying? Alright, guys, till next time, peace.